Today we're going to be making a bristle bot. These are some of the supplies I used for this project. A brush, a battery and a holder, electrical tape, a small motor, some alligator clips to connect them together, and some scissors. Let's start by connecting the positive end, the red wire, on the motor to the positive side of the battery. Then repeat with the black wire, the negative end. I could see and hear in person that the motor was moving, but that's not going to provide enough movement for my bristle bot to move around. I added a counterweight, in this case a cork, to help increase the movement of the motor and to increase the movement of the bristle bot. Then I connected the battery to the bristle bot, holding back some of the cords to make sure that they wouldn't get in the way. Now I attach the motor with my counterweight hanging over the edge of the brush, making sure that it wouldn't bump into the brush as it was moving. This first positioning didn't provide that much movement for my bristle bot. So I decided to play around with my design and try and figure out where was the best position to have a bristle bot that had a good speed and a good movement for cleaning up on my desk. I wondered if the position of the bristles on the brush would impact how it would move on my desk, so I tried bending them in one direction. This is what my design ended up looking like. Finally, I tested it out actually trying to clean up some supplies from another project. Some of the position really made the googly eyes I added go crazy on my bristle bot. Finally, one of my positions made the bristle bot spin in circles, cleaning up about half of the mess that I had on my desk. 